You are watching the Randy Alvarez Business Report. I'm Randy Alvarez. In studio, we have success coach Mindy Alterman. Mindy, welcome to the program. Thank you. It's nice to be here. Now, for people not uh, familiar with your business, yes. who do you work with? I mean, who's your typical client and what are the different services you offer? Well, I am a success coach, as you mentioned, so I work with both individuals and business professionals. The one thing they all usually have in common is the fact that they're looking for change in their life. They're looking for more of something, less of something, to um, significantly alter a state of being such as negativity, or they want to be more confident, they want more fun, whatever it may be. Some may have radical change that they're looking for and others just want to tweak. So who is your typical client then, specifically? Is it the business or is it the individual? Um, I guess you could say it's the individual. Okay. Sometimes the business hires me to coach with individuals, All right. and other times it's an individual that seeks out my help on their own. So for instance, um, I have been working with a dental practice, and their office manager sought me out after seeing me speak at a conference, and um, she reached out to just gain some more confidence and, and leadership skills. She had worked in her practice for many years, but as as a clinical team member and was recently promoted to the front office manager and wasn't confident in that role. Um, once she got there, she realized there was more to it than she realized. So we've been working together and what she's noticing is more confidence, really stepping up and, and getting in touch with her personal leadership style. Okay. So, yeah, so often what happens is folks go into that position with an assumption of what a leader is or does. Often what happens is a person steps into that leadership role and they have an idea of what they want to be as a leader, but they're operating off a of false assumption. So in a day they may get frustrated, they may find themselves stressed, they're one person at work and another person when they get home. And usually what's happening is they're operating outside of what's right for them as an individual. So through coaching, success coaching, we tap into what's important to them and drill down and figure out how to bring that into their leadership role in the practice. So if somebody wants to hire you or work with you, where do they begin? Usually it starts with my website okay. and I would invite them to visit. There's a contact us section on the website and I'll reach out to that person personally and find out more about their needs and what prompted them to call and question coaching and how it might affect their do you, life. Do you do a lot of traveling or is this mostly done over the phone? Your it's mostly coaching. done over the phone. We, um, we have time slots that go from 45 minutes to an hour and a half depending on the individual and it's focused 100% on that client. It's okay. all about the client during that time. What are some of the challenges you work with? I think when people call, um, we're, we're not all that unusual from one another. They're dealing with limiting beliefs, they're dealing with negativity in their lives, they're dealing with confidence issues, and um, it, it, uh, even though they're all similar, each individual and how they work through, through those challenges is unique. So we talked a little bit in the green room about yes. the difference between uh, coaching, consulting, and therapy. Yes. So what, yes. What, what is the difference as you see it? I think to put it simply... And what are you, I should ask? I am a coach. I'm a okay. success coach. And the difference between the two, just in a real quick scenario, a therapist is going to work with you on your issues, your challenges. They want to know why they're there and they want to go back and fix them. Okay. A consultant primarily is an expert in that field. They've been there, done that, and they have... They have become the expert that's going to help you. They come in and they ask questions and learn what you're already doing so they can assess and then give you a roadmap on how to make things better and help you reach your goals. Now where a coach comes in is coaches want to know about you. They want to know what your goals are, your dreams are, what lights you up, what are you passionate about? They're gonna walk beside you and they definitely ask more questions than they do tell. They're your champion. They're um, acknowledging all of your successes. They're calling you on your crap. Okay. They are right there with you. It's like when someone helps teach a child how to ride a bike. They run alongside them and they hold the bike up. That's what a coach is gonna do. And when you're ready to let go and fly on your own, the coach lets go. 
when does somebody know they need your help? Like paint uh, the picture of somebody that needs you. Sure. Or maybe the, the owner of the practice that like you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, maybe they have an office manager or a new office manager. When should they hire you for themselves or for somebody that works with them? The sentence usually starts with, I wish. Okay. I wish things were different. I wish they would. Especially if you're a, a leader of a team and you're finding yourself wishing your team would do things differently, usually starts with you. And, and we, there's work to be done there. As an individual, you might feel stuck. You might feel like you don't know which direction to turn or you're not feeling fulfilled or happy with your life the way it is. Um, I wish and I'm stuck are two big, big indicators that it's time so to hire So do you have a track record of getting people unstuck? Absolutely. And reaching their goals? Absolutely. And from a place of championing. Um, championing is, is acknowledging the strengths that are already living with inside individuals. They just don't know they're there yet. So often when you work with leaders, the buck stops with them. So there's no one driving them to try harder, to dig in, to go for that extra goal, to reach. Uh, they're, they're doing that for their team. So I work with leaders. I'm their champion. I'm the person that drives them. We, d we get there together. Okay. Who's the favorite type of person you like to work with? People who are already successful and willing to do the work. Okay. Because it takes a commitment to work with a coach. You're investing your time, your money, and yourself inside and out um, to this relationship with me. And so what's important is that you're willing to do the work. Um, in, these, in these sessions, we unearth juicy, wonderful okay. stuff. And if you're not going to hang up the call and do something with it, then it's not worth your time or mine. Now you yeah. lecture. You I speak do. I for do. different groups. Yes. Uh, what are your topics? Um, usually around collaboration, communication, getting more of what you want out of life. Um, I work with the dental community quite a bit. Okay. And I'm this weekend going to be presenting on take your team from surviving to thriving through collaboration. So it's all topics I'm really passionate about. And um, it's well received. I think. Uh, according to Gallup, 70% of our workforce worldwide are disengaged employees. And what they want is to be heard, they want to be acknowledged, and they want to be treated as a human being, a person. And what's missing is that engaged communication. So that's what I'm helping people with. So what are the frequently asked questions you get uh, from people that want to use your services? Um, usually it's, how is it different than therapy? which we've already okay. covered. Um, they also want to know, what's my commitment? What makes you different? What will, I, what will I experience through working with you? And coaching is one of those things that's hard to uh, express. You have to actually try it. So I offer sample sessions so oh, people good. can give me a call, work with me for a 30 minute phone call and they can experience what coaching is based on their their requests, that what they would like to see different. So it begins with a 30 minute consultation. Yes, it's called call. a sample session. Yes. And you'll give them some advice on that call? Uh, a it, little bit? It's not advice. I ask a lot of powerful questions to ask, uh, see what they're wanting more of. Um, consulting is advice. Coaching is guiding. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Where do you get your perspective or your background and training? How did you get involved in this? Oh. I started out as a dental practice manager um, many years ago, and I was seeing other dental practice managers in the field, these strong, powerful people that had greatness that didn't see their own greatness. Um, as I ex moved through my career and started speaking, um, I heard a lot, I wish I could, I wish I could be that, I wish I could do that, and really all these people were already it was in them. They were already being and doing the same thing. They just didn't know it. So um, I started working with individuals, talking for free. It was okay. just who I was. And realized that this is a passion of mine. It's something that comes natural to me. And I see what it does for people when they're actually coached. So I um, pursued a, a formal coaching education and um, I'm using it successfully right now as a business. 
I want to thank you for coming on uh, on the program. Final message to somebody watching this. Maybe they're in a rut, yes. right? They have some fears. Mm -hmm. And maybe they even think that, I don't know, coaching may not work or coaching doesn't work. Mm. What do you say to them? I say that you are worthy, absolutely 100% worthy of picking up the phone and making that 30 minute consultation, that 30 minute sample session to just experience it. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you again for coming on the program. Very interesting. Thank you so much. Good for you.